Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Casual Pro Gamer. Today we are doing a Pantheon game, and Pantheon is played by Summoner Aman. Cool name. Okay, cool. And he is going to play top lane for us, and he is probably going to go up versus. I want to say Kale. Uh, it could also be Fiddlesticks, or maybe we could even have. A double. Oh wow, yes. Excellent. We have the spectator mode on Pantheon. There we go. He has on the blue team, which is always good for me. Because the blue team, yeah, it makes it easier for me to remember who is actually our friendly team. And um, yeah, that way I just don't make as many mistakes. Sandbox player. That's also a pretty good name. Well, it doesn't actually say player, but okay. So we have Ash with teleport. We have um, uh, well, the rest is all pretty normal. At least we have a jungler on both teams. So yeah, let's go, guys. It seems that. Um, <laughs> Another pew pew in the name. A lot of ma people have pew pew in the names. See that so often. Anyway, oh, a much too early ward there at one minute. That is way too early. Yeah, that's going to time out as four minutes, and that's that's just a waste of money, man. Anyway, um, and she only has two, it seems. Because she uh, bought two fairy charms. I don't know if that's an excellent. Or if that was actually, actually supposed to happen. Wow. And they actually. They see them coming. And still get caught by them. That is. Um, yeah that's excellent. Of course. Um, the Sona is starting off with the, with the heal. Instead of the. Uh, wow. That was so bad. Yeah she starts off with the heal. Instead of the Q. The, the attack. And that's why they couldn't kill Fiddlesticks here. Otherwise they would have had Fiddlesticks and it would have been... It would have appeared to be a good play. Of course it still wouldn't have been a good play, but... <laughs> I mean, if you place a ward there first and then... Um, uh, get caught anyway, that's never a good play. So, um... It seems that uh, that this uh, uh, top lane is going to be against kill. So yeah. Kill could of course have been the support there, and um, yeah, instead they could have gone with uh, Fiddlestick Stop. Yeah, but Fiddlestick Stop, yeah, it's um, hang on, I'm going to have to pause for a second because of the lag. There we go. Hopefully that will be resolved now and keep there. Anyway, um, yeah, Fiddlestick support's not really the best, but maybe. Oh, it's not actually fiddlestick support, is it? It's just fiddlesticks and uh, and Nautilus are just the ones that are there. It's not actually, uh, yeah. Well, whatever. <laughs> it seems a little strange to me that you have a bottom lane like that. But hey, whatever. They could have gone kill um, kill Nautilus. Kill can be an AD carry, and then Nautilus being. Uh, Support Nautilus is an excellent support, by the way. I uh, don't have any videos of him because the video that I actually received that uh, well that I wanted to do on uh, Nautilus support, uh, the replay didn't work, so that was kind of a bummer. And hopefully I will get one soon because uh, Nautilus support is actually really good. So how are we doing currently? We are eight. Hang on, let me focus on him. Um, eight uh, versus four. So currently we are ahead, but I have to say that's mainly due to the fact that uh, the skill has no idea how to last hit. So um, yeah, we are currently at eleven. As you can see, that's the lowest in the the game, except for Ash. And Ash, yeah, that's really sad because, <laughs> well, I guess if you start off with the wrong runes or yeah, without Doran's Blade, then it's hard to last hit for with Ash. But yeah, Ash will pick that up.
probably. Pantheon, on the other hand, will have or will still have a lot of trouble last hitting uh, in the end game because he doesn't really have AOE skills. And uh, with Ash, yeah, she gets so much attack speed that um, she will be able to pick that up uh, or to pick up the minions very quickly. So yeah, this this ward is a lot better. But oh, she has one more. Did she get killed or did she go home? I don't know. Yeah, that was a pretty easy kill there, but yeah, as you can see, Ash going really super low. And that could have actually worked out for the enemies. Ash should have backed out earlier. And um, yeah, of course, Sona should pick up other skills, but yeah, she now does have two Him of Valor stacks or skill points. Um, I don't know why he just flashed for that. This is never going to become a kill. But anyway, she flashed for it as well, so it's still worth it. But yeah, he didn't even have his uh, unspeakable horror. Oh, he doesn't have it yet. He did two stacks of d two uh, skill points in Dustbringer. That is so fail. I'm sorry to tell you, but that is not how you gank. Man, how can you gank without the unspeakable horror? That is... And how can you blow a flash on that? No, well, whatever. Anyway, we're focusing on Pantheon here. Pantheon, who uh, is missing a lot of last hits. Man, he's just sitting there. Oh yeah, who wants to bait out this, uh, this kill? Which will work. Yeah, it will work. Okay. That's good. <laughs> kill apparently under the impression that he went home, although that would have been quite ridiculous to assume because he was full health, almost full mana and there was no reason for him to go home because he still had health potions available and you buy the health potions to stay in lane. So why would you go home if you're full health and you have health potions remaining and you don't have a ridiculous amount of gold or your opponent is out of the lane. I mean now he was full health and blah blah blah, but his opponent was out of the lane, so you might as well just go for that. I mean, you might as well just go home, it's free to go home. All of these minions are going to suicide into the tower, and your next minion wave is not going to be available for you until you actually get back. So we have level 2 boots, which is excellent, uh, an additional ruby crystal, which yeah, I'm going to guess is going to be um heart of gold because heart of gold would be excellent if you're ahead and <laughs> kill only has boots of speed and a dorns uh dorns ring and we are going to go bottom lane once more because i obviously wasn't paying attention should have seen this coming and yeah the fiddlesticks apparently thinks he's uh, invulnerable and is he going to get a double kill no, they're not going in for it. Uh, that's wise, I would say. So yeah, excellent play. Uh, Sona still has her one ward. She does have the Philosopher's Stone, so I think the um, the buying of the second Fairy Charm was a mistake. She accidentally bought it. And um, Kale here, yeah. Every little bit of harassment you can do on her will stick because her heal is not going to take away that much. She's uh, not maxing it and yeah you can see that from how much she heals. But uh, yeah that ultimate is not going to do a whole lot. He wasn't damaging her so it's only going to give her two auto attacks for free. And that is not really impressive. So um... Pantheon using that, uh, well, the, the, the advantage she has in this lane to push this lane. No, 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 you have to stay with it. Come on, stay with it. You have to harass the kill while she tries to get these minions. Now she gets all of them for free. And that is not what you want to do. So 30 to 14. So just because Kale is a, well, a very, very bad last hitter doesn't mean you shouldn't follow your minion wave in and he's going to taunt her or bait her again and that is going to work out very nicely is she going to oh no 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 do it 
Yeah, there we go. Come on. Okay, now ult. Use your ult. Because it's not going to work. Oh, it is going... Wow. Ignite does so much damage. Wow, 210 already. He's level 8. Is kill really that low level then? I don't understand. I think kill is level 3. That can't be. Kill can't be level 3. Come on. No, I can't read it. And I can't see... Can I see it here? No, I think... Oh, level 7. Okay. Yeah, that's... Yeah, well. Still two levels over, and I, I assumed it would be more than that. But hang on. We're going to go up this first. This um, Draven overextending, obviously. This is an obvious gank, and yeah, blah, blah, blah. Let's go bottom lane. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so much damage. So yeah, Pantheon um, is uh, in base still. Uh, oh, it became a phage. Okay, that's interesting. Um, why did he just ult? He had no vision. Hmm. Yeah, so he had no vision. Uh, Ash had a hawk shot up, so you could have given him vision. And they're not going to be able to get the kill here. That's a shame. And Warwick... Oh, he didn't run away with blue. I thought he stole blue, but apparently blue was not up. No, and blue shouldn't be up, but still. There is a blue on Ari. Who has the other blue? Hmm. Nobody. Okay. Nobody has the other blue. No, I, d I, I don't see it, but maybe I completely miss it. Could be. Could very well be. Um, anyway, we're going to continue here, and Pantheon will need to... Oh, Pantheon does have an AoE skill. Oh, I forgot. The the uh, s spear thing. Oh, come on. Um, I don't know. I don't know which one it is. This is the... Yeah, this is the throw thing. Or not? Nah, well, I don't care. I don't care. He does have an AoE skill, making it easier to farm those minions in the late game. But still, you don't see a whole lot of, uh, of minion kills on, uh, on Pantheon normally. So Pantheon being pushed here a little bit. He did see the Warwick coming, and the Warwick should know that. And are they going for it? They are going for it. Come on. Landing the... That's the AoE skill. And... No. Go after him. Yes. Nicely done. And they are going to get the kill on kill. Oh, even without the Nocturne dying. Nicely played. So yeah. Excellent. This is going really well. And... <laughs> Yeah, I didn't, I didn't uh, see that that second kill coming, but over here. But for the rest, yeah, after you get an advantage like this, it is uh, pretty doable to to just about get uh, all of the kills you need. The la the kill was here, right? Oh yeah, there we go. So yeah, Sona just overextending, and um, yeah, that was an easy kill on the on the enemy team. Nocturne gets the Riggles Lantern going. Excellent. So we will have some wards on the map now. Because Dragon isn't warded. And um, yeah, also the mid lane has no wards on it, even though he's pushing it all the time. So yeah, the turret is going to go down pretty quickly here. It's at uh, 1000 health, 900, 800. 700, wow, that's going down so quickly. He's not going to be able to kill it right this second, of course. Because his minions ran out. 
but still that was a huge amount of damage on that turret and he uh, will be able to do uh, well more of that but the ward here timed out so he can uh, actually uh, well get her again with the same tactic <laughs> and does he have no he doesn't have his ignite up and he needed ignite the previous two times so I'm assuming he still will need that and hang on because there are so many kills that I don't see here I didn't expect this to result in a kill but of course we have the ultimate from Warwick and Warwick just completely annihilating the Draven there <laughs> oh yeah here we go come on yeah he has to uh, he has to back off a little because he is pretty low health and doesn't really have any well not really he doesn't have any uh, regen at all so he's going to have to stay clear of uh, the harass because kill could have actually killed him straight off there but yeah she decides not to she could have killed him straight on because uh, she landed too slow so he couldn't really get away and now with the uh, long range attack she could have definitely killed him it adds a lot of damage I don't know how much but hang on it's the righteous fury right so yeah it's, it adds 55 extra damage yeah that's pretty good <laughs> and she would have killed him in like three shots as he's full health she has a an invulnerability and she has a heal so all in all she could have easily killed him and um, yeah just lucky that she didn't um, yeah Warwick stealing that blue and <laughs> kill coming up here and are we going to get a replay of that last uh, fight no not this time I mean they, she may actually be able to get out yeah she's going to get out no problem <laughs> but that was almost a replay with uh, the Warwick invading the jungle getting spotted and then uh, well <laughs> just uh, getting killed obviously the kill got killed the previous time but so yeah another little bit of harassment going off there on both sides but with the harassment uh, as far as the harassment goes the kill will will have the advantage kill going for berserkers griefs that is a unique choice because she does mostly magic damage so yeah the attack damage is nice to have of course but or attack speed sorry is nice to have but if your um, most of your damage is going to be uh, or at least half your damage is going to be uh, magic because this one is magic damage and it does quite a bit and um, this one is magic damage or adds magic damage so yeah Oh, yes, nicely done. The jump coming in. And it seems that uh, there are two kills in this bottom lane. And we're not going to rewatch them. Oh, I want to see this one though. Did he really once again? Yeah, he once again got... Uh, yeah, just got completely nuked by uh, running too close to Warwick. And Warwick, yeah... He has been uh, just taking the profits of uh, of other people's mistakes, and that is excellent. That's what you should do. I mean, that is what uh, what this game is all about: waiting for mistakes on the enemy, and that's what any mis uh, any game is about. But wait waiting for mistakes that the enemy makes, and then uh, taking advantage of that and killing them, or well, taking a turret in this case. There we go. Is this turret? Yeah, that's also down. And this turret might also go down. I don't know how much we still have. Oh yeah, he backs off a little bit too early, but there's still plenty of health on that. Um, anyway, we are back in lane here, and it seems that um, Ash is uh, four and one by now. That is pretty impressive, seeing that she started off behind. 
And oh, we have a disconnect on the enemy team. But at 13 to 8, yeah, they uh, they still have a chance, so I hope he reconnects quickly. And yeah, Kill here for some reason going into her skills to do some damage, but you shouldn't do that. I mean, she, she lost so many minions because of that. And um, yeah, you should just last it. Yeah, he is going to uh, grab these minions. Which is exactly what he should do. And wow, landing the stun, getting some damage done. And I haven't seen him use his ultimate at all yet. He's already at the level 2 ultimate. Well, he's already level 13, so still two levels up on uh, kill, so that's uh, pretty nice. And. Yeah, the the turret is down, so he could have chased her, but... Oh, he is going to chase her now, but yeah, she saw that. She definitely saw that. Nope, she's not here anymore. So yeah, the Pantheon's ultimate is, of course, uh, very situational. It's definitely not useful in every game, and in every situation. Most other ultimates are useful just about the whole game. Um, with with Pantheon, you need to really have a specific situation, especially team fights and things like that, where you aren't a part of the team fight yet, and you can jump into the entire enemy team. That's when you uh, when you use your ultimate. But yeah, it's kind of uh, a useless ultimate f in some cases. And in this case, yeah, I. I only saw one opportunity for him to use his ultimate, but he already grabbed that kill. I thought he wouldn't grab that kill, and um, yeah, I'm sorry, I have to pause here for a moment. Yeah, his second kill, uh, when he grabbed the kill with the ignite, I thought that wouldn't uh, uh, becoming uh, well wouldn't get to uh, or uh, take down the kill, and um, yeah, I was wrong. But that was a moment where his ultimate could have been useful. Because he could have cut off the retreat from Kill and just grab the kill that way. Not with the actual ultimate, but by zoning her out of the retreat path and then running at her and throwing the... Uh, I think his, is, his one is called a spear. The uh, spear shot. Hang on, which one is that? This one. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, Frozen Mallet on Pantheon now, which is excellent. Uh, Phantom Dancer on Ash, which is also excellent. And this Warwick is not going to be impressed by anything that he does here until the well, the other, the rest of the team shows up. And <laughs> yeah, then he has to flash out. Does the ultimate from uh, Nocturne come out? No, he's ju he doesn't have an ultimate. He is just going to do some damage in a regular way. Wow, that was a wasted ultimate there. But yeah, she doesn't really care, I think, at this point. They're so far ahead that nobody really cares. 9k gold ahead, that is pretty far considering there's only 9 kills between them. But yeah, doing a good job. The whole team is doing a good job of just uh, taking down the enemies. So the reconnect is coming in now. And that means, yeah, he had been out of the lane, uh, out of the game for a pretty long time. And, yeah, it shouldn't matter too much. I mean, it's not like they lost because of that, because they were already pretty far behind. But it did put an end to any, uh, well, opportunities they had to come back. Because, uh, yeah, they're now so far behind that I really can't come back. And wow, did he just ult a minion? And and fear a minion. Wow. Wow, just wow. And Draven gets killed instantly. So yeah, Warwick is not uh, really impressed by the damage they do. He he does take some damage, but yeah. It has to be a little bit more for him to be impressed by it because he has a huge amount of regen. And <laughs> yeah, they're just going to pick up this kill. 
nothing that Pantheon can do could do about that. And yeah, they're just going to tower dive this Pantheon. But I think Pantheon will get out of this, no problem. Yep, there we go. With the Ash actually getting a kill here. And oh, that's a shame. It w he was almost out. But yeah, the, the, the Fiddlestick's really good at doing a lot of damage in a very short time. And staying alive, of course. So they immediately, uh, when they get this Fiddlesticks back, they immediately go aggressive. And that is excellent. That's what you need to do. You need to go aggressive to gain back the advantage. Or rather, take back the... Uh, well, the advantage, the, the gold you lost by uh, by losing him. And wow, yeah, Ash is going to volley in there. Lots of skills going off. That was an excellent ultimate there by Sona. But nobody there to follow up. But she hit everyone, I think. And yeah, Fiddlesticks goes down here. And oh, that was a shame. He did get the ultimate off, but nicely done. Triple kill. But he did get the ultimate off th that time at a very nice spot. But <laughs> the guy that was in the ultimate already died. And he did get an assist on the next guy. But still, it is... Um, yeah, it's pretty hard to land that ultimate in the, in the first place. And then he finally found his opportunity and uh, still didn't work out. So the ultimates from Nocturne coming in, that wasn't really doing anything. But they are going to grab this kill. There we go. Antion taking a lot of shots there, but it's all good. He's still alive. And Fiddlesticks coming in. Yeah, it's probably best to run out, because if that bush was watered, he would have died. And there goes the Sona. Sona's getting out of there as well. And everyone is safe except for these two guys. Yeah, Ash is going to die here as well. Yeah, it seemed that um, uh, Ari actually used her uh, her charm for no good reason. Ari actually has a thorn mail. Seriously, a thorn mail. Well, I guess this uh, this whole team is AD, so it's still a decent investments for someone I mean this is AD 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 and the support who doesn't do anything <laughs> so I guess the Thor mail would be good but it's not good on Ari Ari needs to do the damage man but yeah they uh, they should buy some armor and yeah, obviously going for the uh, hourglass so the, the was that Zonia's hourglass? That would be good. I mean, that would actually be g be a good investment. But going all in with uh, with Thornmail, that really seems uh, wrong. Come on, yes, they do get a nice kill there. And are they going to catch someone else? It's going to be close. Oh yes, he got it. That was very nice. That was really last moment possible. Sona has Soul Shroud now. <laughs> Man, who the hell buys Soul Shroud? It's such a bad item. It adds damage or ma health for you, sorry. And then the rest gains cooldown reduction and mana regen. Who needs mana regen in the late game? That's one. So all it gives is 10% cooldown reduction. That's 10% right? Yeah, 10% cooldown reduction. And you get some health, but who needs health as Sona? If you get caught, you get caught, you die. It doesn't matter how, many, how much life you have. How much health you have. Anyway, um, yeah, it's just a shame that they can't really get items to be actually useful. So there are so many useless items in this game, and that... Uh, Kind of is the reason why, although there are, well, dozens of items in the shop, 
You really have one build for uh, for each position on the map. So um, for the bottom laners, uh, the AD carries, you only have uh, Infinity Edge into um, come on, Phantom Dancer into Bloodthirster into uh, come on, what's it called? The Life Steal one. The Bloodsir, uh, no, sorry, I already had Bloodsir, sir. The uh, Guardian Angel. And then, of course, yeah, you, you buy boots in between them. And the boots are dependent on how the rest of the team looks, how your enemy team looks, things like that. But in general, you would get Berserker Greaves on the bottom lane. So the mid lane normally goes, um, yeah, full AP build, depending on, the, well, you have some variation on that and the entire team gets killed here <laughs> wow <laughs> they got caught so hard anyway yeah the mid lane normally goes um, uh, level 2 boots yeah, well Dorn's ring maybe first well uh, boots and potions would be first but maybe one or two Dorn's rings into um, either Ryla's crystal scepter or the rod of ages or straight into death cap and that all depends on who you're playing and then of course for the top lane yeah you have the uh, wriggles into because most of the time they are uh, champions like Warwick or Nautilus or um, well they're just the tankier champions I guess Pantheon yeah Pantheon is really one of the tankier champions but you normally go um, the Riggles Lantern, uh, I really of course, and to uh, Heart of Gold uh, every now and then. Um, Mercury Strats most of the time. And then you go for something like Frozen Mallet or uh, I don't know. Uh, you have several items that are tanky but not a whole lot of them that are actually uh, varied. I mean it's just uh, the Wits End of course is a very popular one. And I think it just came up because if it didn't just come up, she was really late on that. And wow, <laughs> so much fighting going all over the place here. But they do grab a kill, and that's the most important part. And are they going to grab this kill on Ari? Come on! No, not going to grab the kill. And yeah, this uh, this guy is really not useful anymore. He does have the uh, Right Eyes Crystal Scepter, which is pretty nice. It gives him a lot of HP. It also gives him uh, the Slow, which is really useful. But yeah, we hardly ever see uh, like strange items on champions, such as the Soul Shroud. We only see that in low-level games, but we never see it in high-level games. And yeah, the same goes for all of the... the damage items that there are. If you look in the attack tab of the the shop there are so many items and still you only have the three items that everyone buys uh, for the AD carries. Of course the AP items are the only thing that actually uh, that actually gets varied. Well no don't don't try to damage her when she has her ultimate on. Even. Oh Wow, that was so lucky. One of the shots got blocked by uh, by his innate ability. Um, this one, the Aegis Protection. That was excellent. Pantheon has more of more Martius, which is a good item. It uh, gives you a nice shield, and um, yeah, <laughs> Ash is not going to be able to do anything there, so she just needs to get out of there. Out of there! Get out! Wow! That could have been so bad for her! <laughs> Man! So Draven, yeah, he has uh, some pretty nice items by now, I'm sure. Yeah, and there you see the items. Infinity Edge, Phantom Dancer, Vampiric Scepter. It, Vampiric Scepter is of course going to be a Bloodthirster in time. And um, yeah, it's going to be a Guardian Angel as the last item, because that is the only item that is useful and gets you armor and magic resist, which you normally need. 
And that's why you buy that, not for the revive, because the revive hardly ever gets you, uh, well, more damage or more kills or anything like that. You buy that mainly for the, well, for the fact that it has a lot of armor and some magic resist. You can also go for the Age of the Legion, of course, that also has uh, armor and magic resist. But, yeah, not as much, and it does have some uh, some health added to it, so I guess you could also go for that. Nobody does though, because it's the, uh, th what's it called, the Guardian Angel is just better. And if you have that one spot available and you have the gold for it, then of course you're going for the best item available. And come on, get the harassment off. They have a javelin, they have uh, the ash volley, and or a spear, I should say, because this one is actually called spear. And um, yeah, they do have the cue from uh, from Nocturne. Oh, the someone coming in from the back here. Yeah, he is going to die instantly. And wow, just getting the kill there. That was brutal for the enemy team. So yeah, two of them are still alive, and they can actually go for Baron at this point, but they are going to go for this turret, which is still a very nice choice, of course. And there we go, we're <laughs> getting the insta-kill. That's always nice when someone gives you an extra kill, just because you're there. And it's the second kill he gets from uh, someone who shouldn't be there. <laughs> the other one was over here, uh, the, the one in the bush. That Ari shouldn't have been there. But yeah, he played that very well. With good reactions. I don't think I would have uh, I would have gotten that kill. But he did, and that's what's important here. So Ari is not going to catch up unless she have, has her ultimate, but that still has several seconds to go. And unfortunately, Warwick does catch up with him. Did he really turn back there? Because he should have been further away, right? So he sees that he's revealed here. And what is he going to do? He's going to turn into... Oh! No, he turned to the side. So yeah, he should have been further away. But really wasn't. Uh, so not trying to help out the Nocturne, but... Yeah. That's not going to work. So Pantheon, in the meantime, is uh, holding off the minions from their bottom turret, which, uh, yeah, the bottom lane needs to be pushed every now and then. Same as top lane, because um, if you don't, then the enemy is going to grab free turrets, and that's not what you want when you're ahead. You don't want the enemy to come back, but as you can see, yeah, the enemy can still kill people, but they're really far ahead in gold, uh, or, well, behind in gold, I guess. And wow, lots of people getting killed here. Just because they're on their own and they get killed, uh, caught by two or more enemies. Pantheon is here with Ash. The both of them should be able to hold this off for a little bit. Although it is not a good thing to do. Oh, the turret. Yeah, I didn't watch the turret health. They should have watched the turret health. And if you know that the turret is going to fall in two shots, then you need to back off, of course. Yeah, sorry, I didn't... Yeah, th it doesn't show the health bar, so I need to actually click it to see it, and um, I normally have uh, my mouse on the minimap to be able to do this, which I'm sure didn't make you dizzy at all. And I, yeah, I have to keep it there, because if I let go and then click somewhere else, you're going to get this sloppy camera work, and we don't want that. We want smooth camera work. So yes, during these games, I most of the time have my left mouse button pressed. So they lose three turrets in a row here, because everyone got caught. And yeah, that's some really sloppy play on their team's part. Of course, they uh, they could have defended the last turret if they didn't uh, get caught all the time. <laughs> so that gets caught, and wow, are the, are the enemies really going to win now? Yeah, probably not, because, well, they still have to get through a completely fat team here.
Oh, yeah, that's a free kill. Oh, it did hit. Okay. Oh, oh, a nice one. And here we go, the ultimate. It is going to land, and he's going to grab one kill. And now they have the other two boxed in, so they should get a triple here. Yep, there we go, triple even for uh, for Pantheon. Nicely done. And that's exactly what we wanted to see. We wanted to see that nice uh, damage. And he actually pulled that off. <laughs> that ultimate was pretty good. Landing just on the edge with the... Uh, or with... with uh, what's her name? Kale. Still on the edge of it. And just uh, jumping on top of her. And then, of course, because he was behind the enemies, cutting off their retreat, uh, they got a triple. And yeah, they are going to grab a turret and an inhibitor. And then the enemies should be coming up. Well, Nautilus is up, but he's not scary. He has, uh, well, a little bit of AP. Uh, yeah, AP Nautilus. Not really that strong, not really that scary. Um, let's see how much damage he actually does with his skills. Yeah, it adds 61 damage here. Hang on. It adds 61 damage to this one, and it adds 91 damage to this one. Uh, maybe to the ultimate, yeah, 50 damage. Um, and 100 damage. Uh, so 50 damage to uh, to anyone that passes through. It pass, passes through. Passes, come on. Um, and 100 to the final target. So yeah, it's not a whole lot of damage, it's definitely not worth it. Oh, I think that was the ultimate from uh, Fiddlesticks. That she, yeah, she just disrupted the ultimate from Fiddlesticks. And that is uh, pretty big. Of course she got killed for it, because she overextended again. Or she was in the wrong position again. Oh, Draven, get out! <laughs> Pantheon, <laughs> just one versus five-ing here. And he is still alive? No, not anymore. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, the enemies are going to push their Nexus turrets now, but there are still three guys alive. And among which the Draven, because he didn't die in that last fight. And Draven uh, has 13 kills, Pantheon has 16 kills, so he should watch it a little bit better. You should try not to die, because uh, obviously every time you die, if you're fed... Oh, no, that was not good enough. But every time you die, um, the enemies get a huge advantage in, um, in power on the map. So actually champions alive, the power of those champions. But that ultimate from, uh, from Sona changed the entire team fight. She already has it back up. Oh, it's 60 seconds cooldown. Yeah, right. But yes, yeah, she disrupted that ultimate beautifully. And, um... Yeah, that's exactly what you want out of that, uh... That ultimate from Sona. You want to disrupt someone. And in this case, it really... It saved uh, the Draven, I think. And it definitely disrupted the team fight for the enemies so blue is up for the enemies and uh, Sona is going to ward it here and uh, I think they should just go for that Ash should just go for that after this minion wave with Sona probably and are they going to go for Baron there is no ward from either team on Baron and oh come on yeah he's going to grab the first kill here the ultimate from Sona going down, Pantheon runs out, but he is not going to get out, so he needs to fight. Oh, wow, that Ash Arrow stunned for so long. Otherwise, he would have been so dead. <laughs> oh, man, they're going to get another kill, and yeah, this Nautilus is going to go down. I thought I saw... Yeah, Pantheon just backed off again. He doesn't want to get killed for nothing. And... Come on. Oh, they grab another kill. But it seems that Nocturne does not have enough lifesteal. He doesn't have any lifesteal. Oh, yeah, well, this little bit. 
12%. That's not good enough. He should have gone for more lifesteal and then he could have stayed alive there. Obviously, since lifesteal is so powerful in this game, you need to go for that. You need to make use of the overpowered uh, stats in this game. So, one of the Nexus turrets has gone down and Ash killed another inhibitor. And the blue inhibitor is back up. So, excellent! They are um, finally pushing and as you can see 20k gold ahead. It doesn't seem like that because they are still overextending everywhere and getting caught one on one. Or one on five I should say. And uh, yeah, on their own. And yeah, because of that it doesn't really show that... Uh, this this Draven, for example, have, has 15 kills because he gets caught all the time. Pantheon has been doing a decent job of staying out of the line of sight of the enemies when he was on his own. But yeah, they should ward this Baron. And I think the enemies are going to come for this Baron. Because they think that the, the... Well, the the blue team is doing that. And... I don't know, he doesn't have a ward, so I'm not sure why he's there. And, oh, get... Ah, oh, they couldn't get him. Oh, that was a shame. He got a double kill there, even though they could see him coming. And they could disrupt that. So, Sona's ultimate could have disrupted that. I don't know where she was in that team fight, but she should have gone immediately to the... Uh, well, she should have ran into the the, the uh, guy that was over here, the fiddlesticks. And yeah, they're going to grab this last turret and probably the Nexus because Nautilus Ari is not going to defend that. That combination is not good enough to defend against this team. And especially not with a minion wave that's this big. Come on guys, push the... Oh, they're not going to. They're going to wuss out. They had 3 versus 2 and they wuss out. That's a shame. Would have been really good. But anyway, they're going for Baron here. And Baron is obviously going to be a nice pickup. Especially since everyone's up. So everyone is going to grab that Baron buff. And the Baron is, uh, yeah, it's going down pretty quickly. Uh, the enemy does not have a ward on this. They're not going to. Uh, assume that the enemies are doing this because they got killed the last time <laughs> and yeah even though the fiddlesticks picked up two kills it was still wasn't a good trade for them and does Pantheon have any lifesteal? No, 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 that's why he's going down so quickly he could actually, he's going to pick up his um, uh, Warwick's armor but he should actually just pick up some lifesteal here I don't know if he has the money for it at this moment. Yes! So he could go for that. Because uh, obviously, lifesteal is super powerful. And yeah, if you don't realize that, so if you don't know how much damage or how much lifesteal is worth, just compare it to something. I don't care what. Um, compare late game lifesteal when you have 300 damage. With, for example, regrowth pendants or anything else that adds uh, health. This, for example, you have an item that costs 3000 uh, gold and it gives you. Oh, hang on. Oh, I can't, can't click him for some reason. And Ari is going to get out. But yeah, this, um, this item that costs 3000 gold is giving you uh, a maximum of. Uh, 40 health regen per 5 seconds. So that's 8 health per second. And yeah, lifesteal is going to give you something like... So the, the bloodthirster is going to give you something like 100 life per second. Something like that. So you can see how that is um, super OP. Also you can compare it to... Um, <laughs> this was completely wrong engaged but because of the minions they still get the turrets and they probably get some damage done on the nexus because there's no way this guy is going to hold off against all of these minions he's going to get killed by the minions 
Oh, he's going to draw them into the laser. That is pretty nice. And going to... Well, nicely done. He actually defends against those two super minions. And... Yeah. They are going to hold off, for now at least. But it's going to take them all of their efforts. <laughs> well, they did kill the entire enemy team, so I guess it's still worth it. But I, it, at this point, if they uh, if they get out of their base with even one inhibitor down, Pantheon is just going to jump on top of this uh, Nexus and going to kill it. Um, <laughs> two Infinity Edges. Yeah, that's a little bit overdone. He has no defensive items. It's also why he died, of course. He has no armor, no magic resist. Uh, Pantheon is going for extra armor. Okay. So no lifesteal. And wow, this uh, enemy base is under so much attack. They can just walk in here and uh, that should be it. So another thorn mail bot there by uh, Fiddlesticks this time. And yeah, a thorn mail on Warwick as well. So that's four thorn mails total because uh, Nautilus also has it. Ari already had it. So four out of the five have a thorn mail. And that's because this is a full AD team, but it doesn't matter. Thornmail is not that good, and the additional ar uh, armor is not going to matter. It's just going to take a little longer for you to die, but it's not going to matter. Anyway, they did win the last team fight, so there's something to be said for that. And <laughs> wow, Benji's veil actually blocking that ultimate. And here we go, we're going in. The ultimate from Sona engaging the fight, but or initiating the fight. But are they going to... They're not going to grab a free kill. They're in fact, they're going to lose here. Again. Oh, come on. Enemies are too tanky, it seems, and they don't have enough damage. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, at least they get another inhibitor, so that's uh, good for like another, what, five minutes, ten minutes? They get two inhibitors. Wow, this assault on this base is going so badly. They really have no... Uh, even though they're so far ahead, they have no power to actually get this, uh, this Nexus down. And they should, yeah, they should really go for the, the red buffs and blue buffs, just to make sure that they have all the power available to them. And <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> uh, it's so surprising that they have been trying to get this nexus for so long, and they haven't really done any damage to it yet. Oh, actually, they did. The minions did do a whole lot of damage. Oh, he's going to jump in and he's going to finish it off. Yep, bye bye. He saw it finally that the ne the inhibitor uh, the nexus was uh, completely low health, and yeah, obviously they're not going <laughs> to stop him <laughs> from hitting it once. So um, yeah, well played. Next time you should grab if you have 300 uh, damage, 300 attack damage, you should grab some life steal, man. It is so powerful. I mean, compare it, compare it to this item, yeah? Frozen Mallet, good item, right? It gives you 700 health. The Lifesteal from Bloodthirster will give you 100 health per second. So in 7 seconds of fighting, you will have the Frozen Mallet. You will have more health than the Frozen Mallet. And, yeah, that is just... An amazing amount and that's why I always say that lifesteal is so overpowered because it is the most powerful health items that you have on your team are worse than the the well something like this 12% lifesteal with 300 damage is already m worth more in a team fight than a frozen mallet and especially in a long team fight but anyway it doesn't matter if you want to know more just calculate it or well, whatever. I have a video on my channel about it, but yeah, I don't know what it's called. So <laughs>
<laughs> I can't really refer you to that. But anyway, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. GG.